In a bid to overturn the status quo and fulfill a promise to reposition Nigeria's professionals and manufacturers at the center of the Nigerian economy, the president meets with the Presidential Monitoring and Evaluation Council for the full implementation of the Executive Order 5 at the State House. He made no bones about displacing foreign professionals with local expertise in the execution of national projects. The MDAs will engage indigenous professionals in the planning, design, and execution of national projects. Consideration shall only be given to foreign professionals where it is certified by the appropriate authority that such expertise is not available in Nigeria. The team has been asked by the president, who doubles as chairman of the council, to oversee the general implementation of the executive order, which is expected to improve indigenous capacity. If we want to build any power plant in the country, again, today, we bring in foreigners. Our dams, the same. Mr. President, no nation can ever develop in doing this. In a separate meeting with a delegation from the Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria, the president was conferred as the grand patron of the insurance. He admonishes insurance companies in the country to improve her efficiency. I want to urge you to further increase the number of Nigerians and businesses that would benefit from and be benefited by the insurance industry. The president also met with the head of the United Nations Development Programme Regional Bureau for Africa. The rehabilitation of internally displaced persons, youthful engagement as well as technology was central in discussions. I decided that we were going to shift the lens through which we look at Africa from a problem lens to an opportunity lens, a promise lens. The president reaffirms that his administration is doing its best to rehabilitate internally displaced persons in spite of nominal resources, expressing hope that normalcy will return to the lives of millions of Nigerians currently affected by the Northeast crisis. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.